Greetings. Welcome to our official YouTube channel Petaka Technologies. In this video, let's see how to calculate previous year sales using DAX functions in Power BI measure. This calculation will be helpful when we want to compare the sales up to a specific date and compare it with the previous period for close comparison point. Let's have a look on the sample source data. In this source data, we have sales table which contains two columns. First column contains the sales date and the second column contains the sales amount. Using this source data, we need to calculate the previous year sales. For that, let's create a new measure for calculating previous year sales. To add a new measure, select new measure from table tools tab. We have renamed the new measure as previous year sales. Measures are used in some of the most common data analysis and simple summarizations. The calculated results of measures are always changing in response to your interaction with your reports. We will start with where keyword and named it as previous. Variable stores the result of an expression as a named variable which can be passed as an argument to other measure expressions. Once resultant values have been calculated for a variable expression, those values do not change even if the variable is referenced in another expression. Using variables in DAX function will improve the performance of DAX function and improve the readability, simplify debugging, as well as reduce complexity. We use calculate DAX function to evaluate an expression in a modified filter context. As a expression of calculate DAX function, we use sum DAX function to calculate the total of sales amount column from sales table. For that, we use sum DAX function, open parenthesis, we select sales amount column from sales table, then comma. In filter parameter of calculate DAX function, we use time intelligence DAX function previous year which returns a table that contains a column of all dates from the previous year based on the first date in the sales date column from sales table. For that, we use previous year DAX function, open parenthesis and we select sales date column from sales table and close the parenthesis. To work with DAX time intelligence functions, we must have at least one date table in our model. Date table must have a column of data type date with unique values and should not contain blanks or missing dates. We use return keyword which consumes variables defined. Along with it, we use if statement to
to get the conditional output to replace the blank value. We provide logical condition as if output of the variable previous is is blank. For that, we use is blank DAX function. Open parenthesis. We use previous variable and close the parenthesis comma. If this condition is true, it will return zero. Else, if this condition is false, then it will return the output of the defined variable previous. Close the parenthesis of if condition statement. Let's create a table visual to visualize this data. Select table visual from visualization section. Then we drag all columns from sales table including previous year sales measure and place it in columns field of table visual. After successful placement, new table visual has been created with the selected columns and in previous sales column, we can see the value starting with zero because it contains blank values. So as per the condition provided in the calculated measure, it returns zero. In remaining rows, it shows the previous year total sales. This is the simplest way to calculate the previous year sales using DAX functions in Power BI measure. If this video helpful to you, like this video and share this video with others. Ask your questions or share your feedback in below comment section. To watch more videos like this, visit our official YouTube channel Petaka Technologies. To book your slot for online training, visit our official website petakatechnologies.com. To get notifications on upcoming videos, subscribe to this channel and activate bell icon. That's all for this video. Thanks for watching.